Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and this is the Kingston HyperX 3K SSD. Now in case you're worried that you might be having some deja vu right now, don't worry, this is a new SSD. Kingston has a couple now in the HyperX series, so they have the Kingston HyperX SSD, the standard one that you'll uh, notice has some blue trim around the outside. This is the 3K SSD, and the primary difference between this one and the standard HyperX SSD is the NAND memory that's used inside the SSD itself. But I will come back to that just uh, so first off I can talk about some standard features. This is, uh, once again, a Sandforce controlled drive, so it's got the Sandforce SF2281 controller. Uh, it comes with a three-year manufacturer's warranty from Kingston. This right here is the upgrade kit that I have, uh, but it is available with just a bare drive as well. It's available in a range of capacities, 90 gigabytes, 120 gigabytes, 240 gigabytes like this one here, and 480 gigabytes. Uh, it's a SATA Revision 3, 6 gigabit per second drive, and it can hit max read speeds of up to 550 megabytes per second and max write speeds of up to 510 megabytes per second. Let's just take a look at what comes in the box. Again, this is the full kit that comes with the upgrade set and everything. So here is the SSD itself, which we're going to come back to. Around on the back, we have a drive bay bracket. So that's a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch converter. You can mount the SSD right there. And then this should fit in most 3.5 inch drive bays in most existing cases. They also give you a couple screws, of course, to mount the SSD to the bracket and mount the bracket to your computer case. You have some HyperX software here, so this will give you the installation guide and manual for the drive. Also gives you some drive cloning software, so if you have an existing uh, installation, say on a, a different mechanical hard drive or an SSD, you can use that to transfer that over to your new SSD. You also have the option to do, say, a clean install of your operating system on your new SSD, which I personally prefer, but uh, it does give you the option to do one or the other. This is a little HyperX uh, screwdriver kit. And let me just pop off the back, drop some things everywhere. So there you can see it's got some small flathead and Phillips head uh, adapters. You pop them right in here. The magnet holds it in place, and you can use that to mount your drive and keep on hand as a nice little HyperX uh, tool to show folks that you have a HyperX screwdriver. You also get a uh, drive bay converter right here. This is just an external item, so just to make it a little bit easier to transfer data if you uh, prefer. Just a sort of standard USB 2.0 uh, external device right there, so you can put in your 2.5 inch drive right in there. It's got a USB 2.0 uh, adapter, so using the included cable, you can plug that into a computer and uh, access the drive. If you are going to be putting your SSD into this, I recommend only doing that on a temporary basis because USB 2.0 speeds will severely limit the speed you're able to get out of the HyperX 3K SSD itself. Finally, they have provided you with a serial ATA cable. Right there, it's blue, it's got black ends, no clips on it, but uh, all serial ATA cables should be capable of SATA revision one, two, or three speeds. So that completes what's available in the kit. Let's move on to the SSD. So here's the, the HyperX 3K SSD itself, and I have to say that Kingston has one of my favorite designs for 2.5-inch uh, SSD drives in general. Uh, if you are familiar with their standard HyperX SSD, you'll notice the trim around here is dark gray on this one versus the blue on uh, the typical HyperX SSD. Uh, it's got a brushed metal finish on the top. Sides have sort of a uh, graphite finish. Uh, it's gray. Looks pretty, pretty nice overall. At the back here, you have your serial ATA power and data uh, plugs. So again, serial ATA revision 3 compatible, 6 gigabit per second. Uh, and uh, again, you might look at this drive and say this is very, very, very similar to the standard Kingston HyperX SSD. The 3K uses different NAND inside. So uh, apart from that, you have the same Sandforce 2281 controller. Uh, you have the same uh, SATA connectors. You have roughly the same uh, speeds available and as far as megabytes per second, max sequential read and write. Uh, the NAND has 3,000 program erase cycles. So it's still 25 nanometer Intel IMFT MLC NAND. Uh, the NAND that you find in the standard uh, Kingston HyperX has 5,000 program, program erase cycles versus the 3,000 available with this one. And this is geared more towards home use, uh, but even in a and even if you put a heavy load on this drive, 
uh, let's say you write 10 gigabytes per day, you're still going to have more than eight years of use out of the NAND on this drive itself. Also, the Sandforce controller in there performs what's called wear leveling, and that distributes the writes over the NAND on the entire drive, and that makes sure that no single NAND cell uh, gets overwritten too many times in, to uh, effectively keep you from writing to that. Another thing, um, just to point out about, about NAND in general, is once it does use up all of its program erase cycles, you don't necessarily lose the data on that, uh, on that memory cell. It actually just locks it and becomes read only. So even if the drive does lock up after years and years of use, you can still access your data from it. So now we've moved over to my test bench so I can run some benchmarks on this drive. Uh, just so you guys know, I am currently have, a, have an X79 test bed set up, so we're running a 3960X processor. Uh, and we tested the HyperX SSD on the native Serial ATA Revision 3 6 gigabit per second controller that's part of the X79 chipset. That being said, uh, I'm going to give some comparisons here because I ran benchmarks for the new 3K SSD and then I'm also going to compare it to just the HyperX SSD so you guys can see performance wise really there's not a whole lot of difference between the two. So upper uh, left that you can see here is the 3K and lower right is the uh, standard HyperX drive that I ran the benchmarks on. So you can see, uh, this is a crystal disk mark, by the way, sequential uh, read in megabytes per second, 503, 506, roughly the same. Actually got really good write performance out of the 3K SSD, which was very nice. So 328 there as compared to 306 uh, on the last test I ran. Again, 454 to 444. These are all well within a margin of error for the uh, different tests. Uh, going along with the write in performance, so look here, we hit 140 megabytes per second on the 4K test versus 73 megabytes per second uh, for the regular Kingston SSD. So um, definitely very good speed overall. Uh, input out output operations per second, 34,000, 51,000, 64,000. Uh, just, just really good, solid performance across the board. You definitely do not lose any speed from going to that uh, 3,000 program erase cycle NAND versus the... Uh, 5,000 program erase cycle NAND. Uh, we ran a few more tests. We did run Crystal Disk Mark in compressible mode because the Sandforce controller does a really good job with compression. So here we can see uh, 470 uh, megabytes per second on the read, 512 megabytes per second on the write. Here's where you jump up to much higher input output operations per second. Again, really good write performance here. Hit 90,000 IOPS on the uh, random write 4K test at Q depth of 32. Again, really solid numbers. Uh, moving along to AS SSD, uh, and here I actually wanted to show another comparison. So here's my uh, the 3K drive on uh, both tests. We see an overall score of 645. I have the tests here for the non-3K version of the drive. Uh, we got a higher overall score of 691, uh, but as far as access time, 0 0.06, 0 0.02. Uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.06 and 0.2. Uh, and then input output operations per, sec operations per second again, 52,000 and uh, just shy of 20,000 overall. So there are the AS SSD numbers. We ran the AS SSD compression benchmark here. So you can see uh, the compression benchmark scaling across the board. Hit uh, just about 500 megabytes per second on both the read and the write tests with that benchmark. And then finally we ran ATO, which is a very popular benchmark. And You'll notice on the box itself for a lot of SSDs, they'll say that the numbers that they share with you there, based on Atto Disk Benchmark 2.41 is what it says in the box right there. So this is Q depth of 4, and this is Q depth of 10 uh, for the 3K drive. And now that I mention it, I do want to pop back over here to the non 3K version. I was already on the non 3K version. To see Atto, we need the 256 megabyte length. Just a moment, please, folks. All right, so here's uh, the standard HyperX on the right. Uh, so here we can see uh, overall performance in Atto uh, got a bit more. We actually hit 560 megabytes per second, 561 megabytes per second max on the uh, non-3K drive. Uh, but still, again, better write performance with the 3K version. 539, 541 was the most we hit here at our Q depth of 10. Q depth of 4, which is the same for this test here and the test on the right. Uh, again, 539 uh, megabytes per second write, and uh, total read was about just shy of 520. 
And that's going to wrap it up for this video. In all of my talking about the program race cycles available from the NAND on this SSD compared to the original Kingston HyperX SSD, one thing I also need to mention is that this one across the board should be less expensive than the standard HyperX version. So uh, you get essentially the same performance, uh, slightly less program erase cycles, which really isn't a big deal for most home users out there, and you get it at a lower price. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. This has been the Kingston HyperX 3K 240GB SSD. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. If you want to see more tech videos, head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.